SAC fans, and welcome to the uh, special summer edition of the SAC Daily Dose. I'm Christian Stryker, and here's your Daily Dose for Wednesday, August 7th, 2019. Uh, before we get started on today's show, do our uh, Geico announcement as uh, we once again encourage fans to take a shot at savings and uh, switch to GEICO. SAC alumni could save on car insurance with a special discount. Uh, visit geico.com slash mydiscount for a free quote today. You can also find that link on our website at thesac.com. And once again, we thank GEICO for their uh, generous support of the South Atlantic Conference. So we're going to jump right into things as uh, fall sports have officially arrived, whether games have started or not. As we have announced, uh, we announced last week the South Atlantic Conference preseason uh, football poll. And uh, also last week, the end of the week, uh, we announced the preseason all conference teams. Uh, the first and second team all conference, picked by the SAC media relations directors, uh, was announced last Thursday. And uh, Carson Newman led the way. They had eight first-team selections. Lenore Ryan had six first-team selections. Wingate and Tusculum each had five selections, uh, with Catawba and Mars Hill with two picks each, and Newberry uh, had a one first-team selection. Uh, highlighting the first team was uh, the uh, a pair of uh, offensive stars as um, – 2018's SAC Offensive Player of the Year and SAC uh, Offensive Freshman of the Year were both on the first team. Craig Rucker from Mars Hill, last year's Offensive Player of the Year. Uh, The wide receiver um, finished the season ranked first in the conference in touchdowns, receiving yards, all-purpose yards, receiving yards per game, and receptions. He was also ranked in the top five in Division II in receiving yards per game, um, receiving yards, receiving receptions per game, and receiving touchdowns. Um, Nahir Peoples of uh, Wingate was the uh, offensive freshman of the year. He was second in the conference in total yards and total yards per game and was second. Uh, uh, He also scored a league-leading 14 touchdowns last year. On the defensive side of things, uh, preseason All-American from Lenore Ryan, Kyle Duggar, uh, one of the highlights on that uh, first team. Duggar was a first-team selection as a uh, return specialist as well as a defensive back. He had nine kickoff returns for 180 yards last year and 31 punts, including two uh, punt returns for touchdowns, and he was fourth in the league in tackles with, uh, solo tackles with 50. Uh, definitely check out that full list of uh, first- and second-teamers on, uh, on our website and in the link below. Uh, lots of uh, outstanding student-athletes. Uh, on that all-conference team. Uh, Also sticking with football news, uh, Carson Newman's Antonio Wimbush uh, has been named the AFCA All-State, has been nominated for the AFCA All-State Good Works team. Uh, Established in 1992, the uh, All-State AFC Good Works team uh, is one of the most coveted community service awards in college football. Uh, From the 137 nominees, a final roster of 23 award recipients will be announced in September. Uh, bringing together 11 players from the NCAA Football Bowl subdivision, 11 players from the NCAA Football Championship subdivision, Divisions 1, 2, 3, and NAIA, as well as one honorary coach. Uh, To be considered for a spot on the Good Works team, each player must be actively involved in a charitable organization or service group while maintaining a strong academic standing. Uh, Wimbush is an outstanding student athlete, uh, first team preseason selection for us, as well as all conference last year. He was an All American and All Region selection. Uh, lots of great uh, news uh, to read about him. Check that out on our website as well, and the, or in the link below. Uh, over in uh, some um, non football news or non fall uh, related news, uh, Anderson University has announced the addition of men's lacrosse, uh, and they announced their first coach as well. Uh, Albert Mitchell will uh, has been named the Trojans head coach uh, as he will uh, take the helm of the black and gold in the 2020-2021 academic year uh, as that will increase Anderson's varsity sport offerings to 19 uh, which includes a co-ed cheer squad uh, in uh, the 2021 season, which is when they'll compete the spring of 2021. Uh, the SAC will have 11 members uh, sponsoring uh, the sport of lacrosse, so 11 of our 13 at that time uh, will have lacrosse. So UVA-wise and Carson Newman are the lone exceptions to uh, uh, sponsoring 
uh, men's lacrosse, and uh, that will also include that year the addition of National Powerhouse Limestone. So very exciting for the SAC as we move into the uh, the coming years with the with men's lacrosse, uh, as Anderson adds it. Um, Coach Mitchell spent the last two years at UMass Lowell as a co-recruiting coordinator, defensive coordinator, face-off coordinator. Um, and uh, he will spend the next year preparing a schedule and recruiting student athletes. Uh, while at UMass Lowell, he led the uh, Riverhawks to 13 victories in the past two years, including tying a program high eight wins in 2018. His defense uh, allowed 10.6 goals per game during the 2018 season and uh, also posted program records of 13.53 saves per game. Uh, and so uh, very exciting um, and uh, uh, very well coached uh, teams there for uh, UMass Lowell under Mitchell. He was a four-year player at St. Mary's College in Maryland uh, from 2009 to 2013. Captain of the team, they won the Capital Athletic Conference uh, championship in 2013. He was a USILA scholar athlete in 2013 and a two-time all-capital athletic conference team selection in 2012 and 2013. So welcome to the South Atlantic Conference, Coach Mitchell. Uh, Anderson, welcome to the, uh, the men's lacrosse ranks. And uh, finally today, uh, we have uh, some soccer news as the uh, United, United Soccer Coaches announced their uh, 2019 preseason polls yesterday. Uh, we had two on the women's side that were ranked nationally. Uh, Lincoln Memorial will be the number 19 team going into the, uh, the season, and Carson Newman will be the number 21 team. LMU closed out the season in 2018 with a record of 14-5-2. They were the SAC tournament champions and they advanced to the Southeast Region Final. Carson Newman finished the year 15-4-1. They were the regular season champions. They advanced to the Southeast Regional a year ago. They, they ended up losing to LMU in the semifinal in PKs at that regional. Uh, you can check out the full poll uh, uh, of the United Soccer Coaches on our website um, or in the link below. Uh, also, we did have one men's team receiving votes, and that was Queens. Uh, so... A, uh, a looking forward to a good start to the soccer year. And that's going to bring us to uh, everybody's favorite, the famous sports quote. And uh, today mine is, uh, champions don't show up to get everything they want. They show up to give everything they have. That's going to do it for us today. Make sure you follow us on social media, like this video, share it with your friends and family. And uh, we will get back to our three times a week shows coming up in uh, another couple weeks, August 19th. We'll come back to the three times a week and we'll start seeing more than just me on the show. We'll uh, rotate it around the office and everybody can uh, get a chance to show you the Sack Daily Dose. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great rest of your week and we'll see you next time.